Hi guys, it's Chrissy with Chrissy's Divine Design Tarot, and today we are doing a reading for Scorpio. Oh yeah. <laughs> so we're going to find out what kind of person you have. Now this is kind of what it would look like if you got a $30 reading with me. This is kind of the layout I would have for you. And this is what your would look like. So we're going to cover the qualities of your person here. Uh, we're going to give you some key dates here about how you might meet this person or where. Uh, the obstacles, their feelings towards you and what action maybe you should take in the meantime and what the outcome might be for you. All right, you might be receiving a message from kind of getting could be a stranger I it could be somebody you maybe an acquaintance you don't really know this person but you know who they are yeah they might be moving out there's a change coming in for this person they're going towards their fruition here they're I feel like their wish fulfillment I'm feeling like you got a couch <laughs> kind of what I'm getting with that. 16 breaks down to 7. Kind of getting with that is that reflection and maybe analyzing a few things, maybe looking at things a bit more logical. Yeah, they may have you on high honor up on a pedestal is kind of what I'm getting here. This is somebody that really values you. I feel like they may treat you differently than most people have treated you. Look at that. This was in the wrong deck or yeah, the wrong deck and uh, looks like they may have their sights on coming forward towards you. So I'm going to leave that there because it was looking like it was meant to come out for this reading. Let's see that things. I don't take coincidences. I, I there's always something behind things that happen. So, and with number eight, this is somebody coming forward. This is the wands. This is that action, that movement. This is progress or a breakthrough, a promise or a proposal. This may be a promise to themselves I'm kind of getting. You may be the object of their desire. Let's see here. We have nine, seven, seven, eight. So maybe look that up as an angel message, um, an angel number message, and put love in that when you type it into Google, because you can have a look at what messages come up for a general reading or a general meaning, sorry. And uh, also you can look at that in the love aspect of it, because there's two different meanings there. Can I get another card for this? Yeah, this may be somebody here that may be a bit of a wounded warrior, but they are moving forward despite all the challenges they've had to overcome. I kind of feel like they're still breaking through and doing exactly what they need to be doing. They may have had an injury or an accident, could have been an illness. This is kind of like still having that success after a setback. So they are healing things, but still pushing forward, wanting to come forward. Let's see here. This may be somebody you know. This could be a stranger too. This may not be anybody you know. Maybe they want to get to know you. Maybe they've seen you on social media. Second chakra. Okay, this is about personal power, the self esteem and the confidence. It's like they know self, they know who they are. They have that self belief in who they are. This is coming towards wish fulfillment here. Fire energy. I feel like the, let's see how this is going to come in for you. How are you going to meet this person? Wow, door to romance came up. This has been divinely guided. 
This is Ascended Masters bringing the two of you together. It's going to be on divine timing. It's going to be a door to romance that's going to open for this person and they have to have that self-esteem and personal power and self-confidence and knowing that they are meant to walk through this door. The garden and the gate. This is coming out of their comfort zone. This is looking beyond the gate at what could be. I feel with the number three here, this is definitely some optimism they're looking at this with communicating, wanting to communicate with you. I feel like they may have a group around them that is kind of holding them back from actually walking through this gate. So we have a lot of threes. We have three, 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 six. We have three, six, three, zero, three, six, three, 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 three. Three, 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 three. <laughs> Anyhow, let's see what the tarot, what comes in here. So there's definitely potential out there. And not that the grass is greener on the other side. Because I feel like this person, but the way their garden is, I feel like they're going to take care of their own yard, their own grass. They're not one to go out and water multiple grasses. <laughs> if you get what I'm saying. I feel like this person, <laughs> sorry, I'm getting a lot of fire with this person too. So, and spunk <laughs> is kind of what I'm getting. And we've got, I'm getting, let's see, um, fire, definitely Aries, Leo, or Sag, eight or nine here. So November, December-ish, you may be, um, coming across this person they might be at, at an end of a cycle that they are closing out before they do these things maybe changing uh, towns maybe they're moving closer to where you live it could be that they're on a on a journey to come through I, I feel like they're with the wands here they're going to take action here they're, I feel like they're going to walk through that door let me see what is this um garden and the gate tell me about that wow the wheel of fortune is turning in their favor that is all about good luck coming in here oh yeah i kind of getting um <laughs> definitely unexpected changes now the people around them may be kind of caught off guard is kind of what i'm getting there this is something of a change that they have been wanting to do for a while apparently so feeling lucky let's see here give me one more of those yeah I feel like there may be a lot of anxiety or um, anxiousness about getting going like they if they stay too long and think about it they may lose their nerve <laughs> All right, Scorpio, let us see here. Now, I am getting fire energy here. So if it is a Sagittarius, let's see, with the eight or nine, I'm kind of getting, yeah, more Sag, Sag energy here. Adventurous. They could be very social. Um, kind of blunt actually they can kind of be a bit of uh, just say how it is they may not care too much about what people think of them um they might be a little so, um philosophical if there are a leo they're going to be very vibrant and assertive and generous a little self-centered and for aries they're going to be very passionate confident determined and could be a little impulsive so that that fire and action let's see what could be the obstacles that are going to go on here 
What is the obstacles? There is no obstacle coming in here. Inseparable. Our love is always there despite the distance. So this may be the divinely guided. This may be a connection through the ether or through uh, spirit that's bringing this person to take a gamble or risk it all. I had to let this go so I could clear my mind. And this may be where they are. They had to let whatever they are in here, let it go and move. This is a change they've been wanting to do. Maybe a place they've been wanting to see, and maybe this may be where they are planning to come in for you. Secrets. They may not have told everybody about this. This might, this might be why they were caught off guard. They may not have been able to tell you if this is a telepathic type of union. They may have had to hold back some information from you. Let's see here. Let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. Confusion. I feel unclear about where we stand. So they may be not sure, and I, with that telepathy, I'm feeling like taking a risk. I feel like they're, they're gonna just go forward anyways. They're just gonna see where it brings them. They're gonna go in the, f go with the flow. I'm, I'm kind of going just go with the flow. Let's see, yeah, you might be somebody that's, um, I feel like very ambitious. You could be somebody that is got a, uh, a business or this could be them. They may want to, they could have been in some money or their, whatever their hard work was that they're paying off. They're getting some type of material success. Man or woman, it doesn't matter. It's the energy that's coming through here. Very reliable, resourceful practical. They want that team player, absolutely. And they have a different perspective. So I kind of feel like whatever was holding them back, that they've kind of let that go. They're trying to gain clarity about where they're meant to go and spirit may be helping drive this. Let's see, the spirit might be pulling them through just to get them to go forward here. Let's see, what is what are the obstacles here? What are the obstacles when it comes to this union? No, we already did obstacles. That's not what I want. Let me see what that card was. I don't understand what this connection really is. <laughs> well, that could be some confusion, but that wasn't what I wanted to ask. Their feelings towards you. How do they feel about you? I want to know how they feel about you. If that card was meant to come out, it'll come out again. Oh, dang, that hit the floor. So it's an important card. I'll grab it in just a second. I know what you mean to me. I'm ready to be with you now. And only you now. Wow, okay. So I kind of feel like maybe they... <laughs> they may not have come in for you right away. They may have been distracted or gone down the wrong path, but there's no wrong path because whatever they were meant to learn, they were meant to learn it. So, of course, with free will as well, I mean, they could have decided to do this without any guidance where they weren't being guided to go down that path, and yet they did. They needed to learn a little relearn a lesson I'm kind of getting or understand something. Hang on. Okay, so it says no other compares to you. So I kind of feel like they may be getting some type of insight, maybe on social media. Maybe you know this person. This could be somebody from your past. Let me see. How do they feel about you? How do they feel about you? Oh, 
from. <laughs> Jeez. Hang on. <laughs> okay, so it says the one that hit the floor. I'm trying to be someone you can trust. Now, perhaps they feel like you have maybe trust issues. Maybe they do. I kind of feel like you both may have been through it where somebody has ruined your trust when it came comes to people. I get scared for being honest with you. Yeah, I feel like they're, when it comes down to it, when they are, it is a little spooky to them because I feel maybe this is quite the divine connection, especially if the Ascended Masters are bringing all of this in. Let's look at Tarot and see what this has to say. What is that I'm scared for being honest? Judgment. They Maybe they feel that you're going to judge them. I don't feel like you're a judgy kind of person. I kind of feel like um, there's that universal love that you're feeling that's kind of what I'm getting here I mean I feel like this is I feel like they're <laughs> they maybe you can pick up on this too maybe it's more about the life changes or these events that are going to be coming in that is such a big change for this person they, maybe you can feel these life-changing events coming. Like, I feel like you've both learned from the past. There's some type of acceptance here. This could be faded, and this may not be in your control or theirs. They may be divinely guided to come back around. Maybe they were meant to come here in the first place, and they didn't. Yeah, this could be somebody from your past. Okay. Well, that kind of confirms it for me. This may be somebody that has had a crush on you for a very long time. Perhaps you were always with somebody or they were with somebody. Maybe you were both married to someone else. But they, I feel like they have been wanting to do this for a long time. It keeps coming in for me like that. I, um, This has been like they've been waiting for this like <laughs> if that makes sense like they've been waiting for this opportunity for this to happen I feel like they may have let other people dictate things maybe they gave their power away at one point or that kind of brought some confusion where they tried to get them to detach maybe not be able to come forward to you or walk out through that gate let's see what do we have here for um, what action maybe you should be taking in the meantime what should you be doing I feel like sometimes uh, spirit doesn't want you to do anything wow <laughs> engagement ring okay so this is Partnership, commitment, eternal completion, union. This person might be bringing you a ring. They may have every intention on putting a ring on it. Now, I'm kind of getting that the action you should take in the meantime is realizing your worth. Uh, some type of self-worth here. Perhaps you've been knocked down a lot when you were um, in relationships where people have made you feel less than I feel like you may have been that humanitarian type of person where you know that kind of person that is just loves everybody and just wants the best for everybody doesn't like somebody else to be putting other people down I feel like that kind of triggers you a bit where you stand up for people I feel like you've realized that you're no longer that child. You've grown up now and you've you've made it through. You've you've got that adaptability. Um, I feel like you've got the ability to really change the circumstances in what you were in before. And maybe you were married before. Maybe that is what I'm picking up on. 
And if not, I mean, that could be for some. Like, just remember this is a general reading. So it may not resonate for everybody. Especially if you don't want the past to come back. And it's like, no, no, no. <laughs> uh, that part might not be for you. But there could be other messages that were meant for you to hear, right? So let's see here. Ah, yes, the stable, security, growth. This is going to be, um, because you're not just meant to agree with everything that this person is going to do, that it's all going to be la di da di da because eventually you're going to resent this person if you're always giving in to things. Um, I feel like there's challenges that are meant to happen in a relationship for you to have that growth you're not always meant to um you know uh agree but then on the other hand you're not always meant to challenge this other person that could be exhausting too there's got to be some type of balance here where you get on where you get on really good with each other and but you on the other hand you're not always going to agree and I feel like you both know that there's no point in putting your energy into an argument when it comes to about being right. Um, so it's it's not about an ego thing. I don't feel like that's going to be an issue. Now, this person may have a lot of other options. I'm kind of getting the feeling that maybe you thought this past person was a bit of a player player. Now, maybe they had a reputation as that. Perhaps they weren't always truthful for you or to you. Maybe kept secrets from you about something else going on. Maybe they didn't tell you about somebody that they were with. They were worried you were going to judge them. Maybe they judged you. I like you. Someone likes you. Romance is blooming, fun, flirting, and wanting to date. So I, I kind of feel like whatever action you're supposed to make when it comes down to this person is that worth. That you, they're not, you're not going to come off the market. Um, so easily uh, that you're going to jump into this relationship you may want to put the brakes on is what I'm kind of feeling and take it slow and maybe just start off as friends go out have a good time and eventually see where it goes and I feel like this is kind of maybe in the past you were quite um, this is what I want, this is what I need to have, this, 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 and it was kind of um, maybe pushing this person away a bit. They didn't want to be micromanaged is kind of what I'm getting. Not everybody's going to recognize this, um, but some people might, and it's, I feel like this, whoever I'm talking to about this is I feel like you had certain expectations, and I mean, it's good to have certain um, what's the word for that certain values or certain um god <laughs> i can't think of the word i'm trying to use um not expectations but a certain ground level that you have that you want people to come up to rise with you, you're not going to drop your energy to be in their energy. They have to rise above it to be in yours. And I feel like you're not going to want to accept anybody that can't show you. I feel like perhaps you've been love bombed too many times. I feel like uh, action is going to speak to you far better than somebody trying to gaslight you. Or... It may come across like they're gaslighting maybe because you've had that happen before so you're gonna you might have that you're not sure about this kind of attitude so let's see tell me about this engagement ring oh wow look at that ten of Pentacles 
Spirit is bringing this all in here for a reason. Now with the Five of Swords, I'm only reading these in the upright, but this is really speaking to me <laughs> with the Five of Swords, especially with somebody coming back from the past, because this is all about reconciliation. So I'm going to keep this one the way it is because I really do feel like this is what they want to do is reconcile with you. And I feel like don't make them work for it, but let them let them sh woo you and show you the romance and show you, show you, show you is what I'm getting. Look at that. You're meant to do something together, whether you like it or not. You're being brought together. Uh, there's some type of legacy or um, some significant wealth that you're meant to build here or do for spirit. Maybe there's some... Uh, service you're meant to be doing here so all right Scorpio let's have another look here at the outcome what is the outcome for this union what are we looking at here honeymoon <laughs> so I guess you get engaged and actually do get married wow Scorpio congratulations <laughs> time to party <laughs> all right wow definitely this person is worth waiting for this may be the divine timing I did mention earlier, and this is definitely coming out to confirm that these Ascended Masters are bringing you together, and I can tell you a time of when you're supposed to meet this person, and yada, 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 or when you, they come back in your life. But this is divine timing. It's going to happen when spirit wants it to happen for you. There's a certain things that are supposed to go down. Let's see. Yeah, you may be... I'm kind of getting this is for your person where they're taking control of their life. They're taking that back. And they're... I feel like there may be um, whoever they didn't want them to walk through and go through this door uh, to romance here or make this big change. I feel like this person they may I feel like they're just taking back control of their own life and this is what they've been wanting to do to come to you and they're finally doing this spirit has finally got this person to move and come forward wow look at that legacy I feel like you may you may have to have this person show you that they aren't a player like it's going to be evident to you that this person has changed or that maybe you should have given them another chance maybe it wasn't the way that it went down maybe it wasn't what you thought it was because fear has that way of false evidence appearing real right so and not all uh fear based uh things are a bad thing like these are all things that are supposed to help you learn and grow right and sometimes we'll read things into our imagination and go wild thinking that this is what's going on when really it may not be so let's see what we have here getting to know each other <laughs> so as you reveal your innermost secrets, wow, to each other, this bond is going to deepen. Now, let's see. Let's get a couple cards. Yeah, they're fighting for this. They definitely want this with the Knight of Swords coming in. They're willing to adapt and grow here. Yeah, they're really serious. They're, they're, it's all about truth for this person. Look at that. They see you as the empress, especially if I'm talking to a divine feminine. This may be that you're in your masculine side. Uh, take it however it resonates. So flip it, switch it, whatever you need to do to make it resonate for you, okay? So, wow. Let's just get a couple cards here. I did get a message, so hang on, guys. Okay, so let's just do an after tarot real quick here. 
for Scorpio. Yeah, yeah, look at that. They're coming forward. There's that movement I've been hoping to see for your case because I feel like things are starting to move ahead now for a lot of people that have been waiting, it seems, for ages, maybe even years. Let's see. Yeah, somebody has a different perspective about things, about this door to romance, this reconciliation. Oh, Ace of Cups. They may be having this offer brought to them by Spirit where this is a blessing. And I feel like this is meant to happen. This is faded. This is set to come into motion for a reason. There's the Empress again. Oh my goodness. Yeah, they're putting down all these burdens. They may have been manifesting you. Wow. This is so awesome. You've shown up here twice or you and your person have. Now, they may be embodying the Empress as well, even if they are a masculine, because it's all about that Venus and love. It's about having that... Um, Oh, with the two of cups here. <laughs> now, there might be a little worried that you're going to be standoffish about this. That you may be like, yeah, come in. Yeah, what do you want to say? Okay, I'll be willing to listen, but it better be the truth. I feel like you can see kind of through <laughs> this person. It might be a little unnerving for this person. You may even have said something about certain things that may have happened for this person that you said would happen. Let's see. <laughs> the Two of Cups is coming out and you are coming together here. So, and they may have a lot of anxiety about this coming forward and, and wanting to get back together with you. What's the Ten of Cups and I like you? Yeah, uh, equal give and take, that uh, being generous. And I feel like if the past, maybe they took and you gave or there was some kind of imbalance when it came to the two of you. I feel like this is going to really balance the scales for you. Look at that. Passionate new beginning in Scorpio. <laughs> All right, let's see. Oh, yeah, there's that truth. They see you as very beautiful. What? The, the lovers. <laughs> Look at that. You're both going to accept things from each other. I feel like you're definitely going to have some sort of truth here about... <laughs> I'm kind of feeling like you maybe were holding back... Uh, a lot of what you're feeling maybe your person was too maybe it was a little spooky <laughs> because of the energy between the two of you I'm really feeling that uh, energy charge going through the air just even being able to feel the person even if they're not right by you this person may not be may not live by you yeah you're you might take your time. I'm getting with this taking the time to make a decision about this person. I feel like you're not just going to say, yeah, yeah, let's get together. <laughs> I feel like it's going to be more of a transition from friendship to if it gets into anything else. I'm kind of feeling so if there is that connection of love which keeps showing up here <laughs> wanting to do this um, plan a, a future with you like there this is just beautiful there's definitely anxiety when it comes to coming forward are you going to accept them back what are they going to be the terms <laughs> i feel like you might need to get to know this person all over again especially if they were just in the friend zone before that may have been a romance between the two of you at one point but they definitely want it to be for a lot longer than just friends especially with the engagement ring and the honeymoon showing up so I have no doubt this is coming in for you. Be the empress that you are. And I feel like 
knowing your worth, what you're willing to accept, what you're not, have your boundaries in place. And don't just always give in. Don't always give in. I'm kind of getting with this. Um, don't be so agreeable. <laughs> So uh, whatever that means for you, you're going to know if what that means or how you feel about that. <laughs> All right. I'm going to leave it there. Take care, Scorpio. I really love your reading for you. Stay blessed. If you want to donate, you can in the description box below with the PayPal link. Or you can do the super thanks or just even watching the videos and clicking that like and subscribe certainly helps the channel. <laughs> All right, you guys, take care, stay blessed, and we'll see you next time. Later.